Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions. Pass with Octopus in three minutes. In this session, we will talk about how to clean data with regular expression tool. Thanks, Ina. Before I begin, just a reminder to everyone that please feel free to leave any questions you have in the chat box, and one of our panelists will get back to you. So, customize the extracted data. Once you have all the data extracted from your target web page, you would definitely want to do a little bit of cleanup so that your data will look more in order. Or if you have a desired data format for a certain data field, for example, some date or time format extracted from your target web page might not in your desired format, you would want to reformat them in this step. Also by refining data format beforehand in Octopus can save you trouble to do it after exporting your data in Excel or other formats. And you can do so by going to the data preview under the built-in browser. You can adjust the size of the window so it will be more convenient. And we'll start with renaming all these field headers because by default, Sometimes Octopus is just showing each column as text one, two, three, four, five, and so on. To rename them, just double click. And this would be the title. And by hitting enter, Octopus will automatically go to the next field header for you to edit. And this would be the review. And because the field header is not very helpful before we rename them, Sometimes you might get lost or confused what this column actually is and where does it came from. So by hitting one of the data, you'll see in the building browser, there is a highlighted part that indicating where this data was extracted from. So we'll know that this would be the reviewer. This would be the contributions. And the helpful world and the date of stay. And this would be the rating. And in order to clean up the extracted data in below, there are a few different options that Octopus offers to fulfill different scenarios. You can click on more next to each column field header, select clean data. And by click on add step, you'll see different options. And let's go through it one by one. Replace is pretty straightforward. You can utilize these options to replace a certain part of the data with a desired output. And this output can be text, can be number, it can be symbol, blank space, or even a line breaker. So for example, in this case, as the field headers already indicated that these two columns are showing the number of contributions and the number of helpful votes. So we can remove all these contributions and helpful votes in the data fields to get a pure number of both so that after exporting the data in Excel or other formats, we would be able to count the sum or average of these two columns. So let's do it by click on more, clean data, and we add a step of replace. Uh, we, what we want to do is to replace this part of the text with nothing, just leave it blank. Remember to always include this blank space in between the number and the contributions. Otherwise, the remaining part would be a number plus a blank space. Then you can always evaluate the result to see if it matches our preferences. Then we click Confirm. You can also check on the um, output preview here. Then if everything looks good, apply it from here. Then we go to the next field and we do the same thing. We do clean data, we add a step of replace. 
and we want to replace all this field with nothing, leave it blank, confirm. The output looks good and we apply. And voila, there we go. We got a pure number of both. And you can always adjust or remove a step you've added by also going to more in data. And we've got a pen for edit and a bin for remove. So let's try to remove this one, confirm. And always remember to click on apply to save the changes you've made. And let's check the next one. We've got replace with regular expression and match with regular expression. As Octopus has a built-in regular expression tool, you can always click on not sure about regex, try the regex tool. And what we want to do is we want to extract this part of the original text. So we will start the regex with anything before the part and end with everything after the part. And then we can generate a regular expression with the regex tool. Uh, always remember to click on match all, and then we match to check on the results, which is exactly what we need. And we apply it and confirm and apply again. Then we got all this rating with the exact results we want. And let's check on the next one. We've got trim space. So Octopus is offering three types of tr spaces trimming to trim the start from the end or from both. You can choose upon your needs. Add a prefix or a suffix are both pretty straightforward as well. So let's say if this 10 is indicating $10, then we can add a dollar sign as a prefix. Then the output would be indicating $10. And next we've got, we format extracted date or time. Uh, we can choose a format that we prefer. Let's say I prefer to know that which day of the of the week that um, this customer stayed. So we can choose this format and we click on confirm, apply. And then voila, there we go. And for the last two, timestamp conversion and HTML transcoding are not very commonly used, so we will not cover it in today's webinar. 